Hi, my name is François Simon, a sales manager at ATRsoft, and today I will introduce you to our M-Files SolidWorks integration. Let's start by adding a new customer in M-Files that we are going to call ATRsoft. Then we can add a new project under that customer, which we are going to call Conveyor. Now we can move to SolidWorks, where I have that Conveyor which is ready to be exported to M-Files. So here we have the full SolidWorks bill of material that we are going to export, as well as the custom properties that will be exported as M-Files attributes. The lines marked as green correspond to SolidWorks part and assembly that will be added as new object in M-Files. During the export, I am also able to run certain file conversion rules defined in custom tools. For example, here I'm converting the drawings and 3D model to PDF, and also certain drawings as DXF. Now we can select a pro uh, project in M-Files, so we have the conveyor that we have just created, so we can link that assemblies to that project. And now we can open M-Files to check how that conveyor was exported. So under ATRsoft I have the conveyor. So we have now one product. So here we have the main assembly that contains 22 components. And then here we can see all the objects that were created as well as the PDF that were converted during the export. For example, here we have the PDF for the drawing of the main assembly, also a PDF of the 3D model. And then we can also check that we have also a DXF for that part that was also converted during the export. Also, we have the drawing for that same part, as well as the PDF containing the 3D preview. We can now check how existing object can be updated in M-Files if the SOLIDWORKS part is modified. For example, I'm going to select that part, and then I'm going to modify the custom properties of that part, so that the part is no longer fabricated, but we are going to have it as a purchased part. This will create a new type of object in M-Files. So if I now click on the export, we can now see that the main assembly and also the sub-assembly where that modified part is used are marked as yellow lines. So this will create a new version in M-Files and the part that was modified will be created as a new object. So now we can link it to the conveyor project in M-Files. So here we can see that we are also going to create a new version in M-Files. Let's now check how the product was updated in M-Files. So here we have the conveyor, the product, and now we can see that we have one new component under purchase component. So here we can, for example, open the PDF of that part that we had modified in SOLIDWORKS. Let's create a new project for that same customer that we are going to call conveyor2. Now we can check how existing SOLIDWORKS products can be used in other M-Files projects. So if I go back to SOLIDWORKS, and if I export once again that uh, conveyor, so the export is run pretty quickly as the object already exists in M-Files. I can now link it with the new project and we can verify how that conveyor was exported to the conveyor too. So here we can see that we have exactly the same structure as we had for the first conveyor. For example, now we could also modify that uh, conveyor so that we would also modify the object structure inside M-Files. For example, I'm, I am going to select four sub-assemblies, which I am going to suppress inside SOLIDWORKS. So now the assembly has been updated inside SOLIDWORKS, so I can export the new structure to M-Files. So if I now click on the export, I can then choose to which project I want to link the new conveyor. So we can choose the conveyor 2. A new version is also created in M-Files. And we can now check how the conveyor 2 was updated in M-Files. So we used to have 21 components. And if I now update M-Files, and if I check the conveyor 2, 
So we can see now that we only have 15 components. This M-File SOLIDWORKS integration also allows you to export SOLIDWORKS custom properties as M-Files attributes. For example, if I select a part and then open the custom properties that we have defined by using custom tools, you are basically able to export any of those custom properties as M-Files attributes. We can select the corresponding object in M-Files and as we can see, the description, the manufacturing method and also the revision were SOLIDWORKS properties exported as M-Files attributes.